With no games on the schedule, the Hawks had time to do a little community service. This is the Hawks Vision Weekly Update. Hello everyone and welcome to the HartfordHawks.com Hawks Vision Weekly Update. I'm your host, Keith Arsnow. With no games scheduled for the men's or women's basketball teams, it was a quiet week here in West Hartford. The men's and women's teams both used their rest wisely, coming home with double-digit wins after trips to Binghamton over the weekend. The women's basketball team picked up its first win in conference play with a 63-41 victory over Binghamton. Junior forward Nakia Smith led the way for the Hawks with 16 points and 8 boards. Daphne Elliott and Ruth Anduati also cracked double figures. The Hawks have three games this week, first at UMBC on Monday afternoon, then Thursday night home against Maine before heading to Boston University for a rematch of last year's America East Championship game. The Hawk men picked up a 69-57 victory at Binghamton, their second win in three games, their 2-2 two two in America East play. Freshman forward Mark Wakama had a big game with 14 points and 7 boards, going 8 of 10 from the free throw line. Senior Andres Torres led the Hawks with 15 points. The men also have three games this week at home against UMBC on Tuesday, on the road in Orono on the 19th, and then home Sunday against Boston U. While it may still be winter break here in West Hartford, there are students on campus. Those students attend the University of Hartford Magnet School, an elementary school located right here on the West Hartford campus. The Magnet School was WFSB Channel 3 Eyewitness News' Cool School of the Week. Two things that make the Magnet School a cool school have to do with Hartford Athletics. The athletic department runs a mentoring program between student athletes at the University of Hartford and their elementary school buddies. The Hartford track team also has a very special program with the Magnet School called the Flying Magnets, a running club that meets twice a week during the school year to promote running and fitness in the elementary school students. Together, the University of Hartford student athletes and the University of Hartford Magnet School students help to make the Magnet School a cool school. Well, that'll do it for this week's edition of the Hawks Vision Weekly Update. Remember, you can stay up to date on Hartford Athletics anytime by going to our website, hartfordhawks.com, or you can subscribe to the YouTube channel of Hartford Athletics or follow us on Twitter at Hartford Hawks. For HartfordHawks.com and the Hawks Vision Weekly Update, I'm Keith Arsenault. We'll see you next week.